From the very beginning of time, the planet Earth was not a silent place. And as it was increasingly populated by living beings, these quickly learned that sounds constitute an excellent means of communication. In the dense jungles where virtually no light penetrates, almost all the survivors have developed their sense of hearing in order to know whether or not they are alone. But beyond a simple call, many species invented true languages capable of transmitting information across enormous distances. All communications by sound imply the existence of a message and at least two participants, one who emits it and another who hears it. When both are of the same species, it is assumed that they will gain some positive benefit from this acoustic signal. But problems may arise when enemies intercept sounds which are not meant for them and learn to use them against those producing them. There is a universal code among animal species by means of which all innately recognize when a call is a threat. When it is an expression of desperation or when it signifies true fear. But without a doubt, the pinnacle of progress in communication through sounds is human language. A combination of pre-established tones capable of transmitting complex messages and sensations. Still, despite the existence of language, the different human cultures have continued to use a multitude of sounds to complement these messages. From simple cries of greeting like these in Papua, to the development of music and dance, both of which have much in common with the songs and dances of many animals. All these sounds express something, all speak of love, identity, memory or promise. human culture has its own sounds, its instruments and its echoes. Rhythms which express everything from contact with the spirits to a simple invitation to join in the celebrations. We are going to break the silence. African elephants emit a wide range of vocalizations to communicate with each other, but one type is particularly interesting. The very low frequency or infrasonic calls which the human ear cannot perceive. These infrasonic signals have a longer wavelength than high frequency sounds and so are not affected by obstacles such as leaves or grass. They are therefore ideal for communication over long distances. On the savanna or in the jungle, elephants can hear a bellow or loud trumpeting only up to a few hundred meters away, while an infrasonic sound is audible to another elephant at a distance of several kilometers. These calls are very useful when the female comes into heat, given that this only happens for three days every four years. As the males and females live apart from each other, often kilometers away, the bulls hear the call and have just enough time to reach the female before it is too late.
In Africa, the groups of humans also quickly discovered an efficient system for transmitting calls over long distances. The percussion of drums is capable of communicating surprisingly complex messages over many kilometers across jungle or plain alike. But it is used above all to convey a message or important announcement which all the members of the group must hear no matter how far away they are. Wars, weddings or meetings, no one can claim that they weren't informed if the message is sent by TomTom. -tom. The system of percussion is also used on the island of New Guinea and in many others in Indonesia. Rhythm and cadence inform that an important initiation ceremony is about to take place and must be attended by representatives of neighboring villages.